Welcome back, Super Radio Brothers Highlights Astronomy Vlog Edition. Thank you so much for going on this journey with me. This is our third video. You saw the unboxing of this beautiful Aperture AD12 Dobsonian Telescope. And then you saw me build the base, which I hope that was helpful for you. I hope that helps somebody out who's trying to put together a Dobsonian base. It doesn't just apply to the 12. I'm sure it's a similar process with the 8 and the 10 as well. So in this video, I just want to introduce the telescope now that it's completely assembled. The only thing I had to do after assembling the base was put these altitude bearings on. I had to screw the altitude bearings into the optical tube. You do that and you put it right on the base and you have yourself a beautiful big Dobsonian telescope, 12 inch Dobsonian telescope. And here she is, fully assembled, very beautiful, amazing. Uh, some of the features on this Dobsonian telescope that really changed the game for me is this uh, two-speed Crayford style focuser, which is just perfect when it comes to precision focusing. It's just, it's amazing to use compared to what I was using before. You really get great crisp views using this focuser. It's excellent. It's a two inch focuser with the uh, one and a quarter inch adapter as well. So uh, beautiful focuser. It also comes standard with this eight by 50 finder scope, right angle finder scope. Uh, which is extremely useful, changes the game for me. I was mostly using a red dot uh, a finder, but now I can use that in addition to the finder scope, which really helps you get familiar with the neighborhood of stars when you're trying to find something. Uh, so those are a couple of things that come standard. Also in here, you got the cooling fan that comes with this big 12 inch Dobsonian. And that's vital, you know, you need to cool the mirror to your ambient temperature so you get the best possible visuals. Um, and of course, I had to do some modifications. I always got to mod my stuff so that it really, really works for me. And and one of the most, I, if there's only one mod you do with the 12 inch telescope, it is these straps, okay? These straps were made by Farpoint to carry a 12 inch Dobsonian. And it makes it so much easier to move this huge tube around. Remember, this tube is 57 inches long and, and close to 50 pounds. So to lift it with these straps changes everything. It really makes it a lot easier. Um, I also had to go with the Telrad. Everybody knows about the Telrad and the three circles and uh, it just makes it so much easier to find things. And the Telrad, in, in, in addition to the finder scope, has changed everything for me. I'm finding things a lot easier now. And I also got the Telrad Dew Shield right there to help with uh, the, the, the doing that happens in Florida, of course. So that's pretty much my modifications and my new Apertura AD12 telescope. I got so lucky the first three nights I had this telescope. Everybody says you get a new telescope and it's nothing but clouds and rain and dark skies. Well, I had three straight, night, three straight nights of clear, beautiful weather. It was a lot of fun. I saw everything from the Leo triplet galaxies to the Whirlpool galaxy to just incredible views of the Great Orion Nebula, uh, open clusters, so much more. Uh, needless to say, I have not been disappointed my first couple of days owning a 12 inch telescope. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it informational, subscribe to our channel. Check out the Super Radio Brothers podcast. We have so much to offer across all social media platforms. Check it out.